$15,990 or $40,000? That's the question ripping the internet apart right now. Tesla just confirmed the Model 2 is real. Prototypes spotted driving uncamouflaged in Texas. Production lines running. November launch locked in. But here's where it gets wild. Leaked prices show $39,990, almost double what Musk promised. Is this the affordable Tesla revolution or the biggest bait and switch in EV history? We've got the receipts, battery specs, deleted features, the real production costs. This changes everything. Let's dive right in. Here's what nobody's telling you. Those uncamouflaged Model 2 prototypes spotted in Texas aren't just test vehicles. They're production-ready cars, and the story they tell is absolutely wild. Elon Musk confirmed $15,990 for the base. Model 2 with 280 miles of range and around $20,000 for the long range hitting 310 miles. But leaked documents show $39,990 as the likely U.S. retail price. So which number is real? Both, and here's the truth bomb. The $15,990 assumes maximum incentives and Giga Shanghai production where costs are lowest. The $39,990 reflects the U.S. reality without the now-eliminated $7,500 federal tax credit. Built at Giga Texas with current tariffs factored in, Tesla just lost their safety net. Without that tax credit acting as a price buffer, they're forced to absorb over $7,500 in costs themselves. Meanwhile, BYD sells EVs in China for under $10,000. This isn't about innovation anymore. It's about survival in a market that's eating them alive. Think about the timing. Tesla's global sales dropped 5.9% in 2025. BYD outsold them in 2023 and 2024. The Model 2 isn't just another product launch. It's Tesla's last chance to prove they can compete in the affordable EV segment before Chinese manufacturers completely dominate the space, six uncamouflaged prototypes reveal everything. The Model 2 shares roughly 80% of its DNA with the Model Y, but every single expensive element has been stripped away. No full-width LED light bar, metal roof instead of panoramic glass, manual tailgate instead of power, no heated seats, no premium audio system, no rear display screen. The math is brutal, but brilliant. Fabric seats instead of synthetic leather save $500 per car. Steel wheels instead of alloys cut another $300 to $500, reducing speakers from 15 down to 7 trims, $200 to $400. Single pane glass instead of double pane. No power folding mirrors, no 360 degree cameras. Every deletion adds up. But here's what Tesla kept, and this matters more than anything the central touchscreen, full self driving hardware, Tesla app connectivity, and over the air updates. The core Tesla experience survives the cost cuts. You're still getting a connected, intelligent vehicle that improves over time just without the luxury packaging. Now we get to the real game changer. The Model 2 uses a 53 kilowatt hour LFP battery from CATL, costing roughly $2,786, less than half what the 75 kilowatt hour Model Y batteries cost LFP chemistry currently runs 50 to $60 per kilowatt hour in China and Tesla's betting their entire affordable strategy on this chemistry. But here's the question everyone's asking. How does a smaller 53 kilowatt hour battery deliver 280 miles when the Model Y needs 75 kilowatt hours for 310 miles? 
The answer is pure physics. The Model 2's body is 30 inches shorter than the Model Y, measuring just 157 inches total. Less mass means less energy required to move. Combine that with optimized aerodynamics and lightweight wheels, and suddenly 53 kilowatt hours becomes viable for real-world driving. Starting in 2026, Tesla will produce these batteries in-house at their Nevada facility using manufacturing equipment purchased directly from CATL. That move alone cuts costs another $1,500 to $2,000 per pack, while eliminating import tariffs entirely. This is the 4D chess move that makes the $15,990 price mathematically possible. Tesla's new 54,000-ton Gigapress is 8.7 times more powerful than the presses used for Model Y. It casts entire underbody sections in a single piece of aluminum, completing each cycle in literal seconds. The traditional Model Y requires over 200 welded chassis components. The Model 2 uses just 85 parts, a 60% reduction that eliminates days of assembly time. Lars Moravi, Tesla's VP of Engineering, confirmed Giga Shanghai can complete a Model Y every 33 seconds. With the Model 2's dramatically simpler design, that production time could drop to 20 seconds per car. That's not marketing hype. That's the reality of next-generation automation, where robots handle mold preparation, casting, cooling, and finishing in under two minutes per cycle. But here's the twist nobody saw coming. Tesla originally planned to use their revolutionary, unboxed manufacturing process for the Model 2, where different sections are built simultaneously in parallel and assembled at the end that approach would have cut production costs in half and reduced factory footprint by 40%. Instead, they pivoted to building the Model 2 on existing Model Y production lines. Why abandon such a revolutionary approach, speed and risk management? Building an entirely new production line from scratch would delay the Model 2 by years Tesla's racing against BYD fighting declining sales, and desperately needs this car on the market now, not in 2028. So they made a calculated compromise. Build it on proven production lines, but borrow key innovations from the next generation platform where possible Tesla's new traction motor is a masterclass in cost engineering. Instead of expensive rare earth permanent magnets that depend on Chinese supply chains, they're using ferrite magnets. The new motor uses 75% less silicon carbide while maintaining performance levels. And the total component cost drops from $2,000 to $3,000 down to around $1,000. Tesla achieved this through advanced magnetic field simulations, optimizing simultaneously for cost, weight, and acoustic performance. Despite being labeled a budget motor, it will still deliver acceleration that embarrasses most gas cars in its price range. Tesla has never made a slow car, and the Model 2 won't break that tradition. Here's the uncomfortable truth Tesla doesn't want to broadcast. The Model 2 will launch first in China and Europe, not the United States. Why? Because 70% of Tesla's LFP batteries currently come from KTL in China. And Giga Shanghai is Tesla's most efficient factory on the planet. Current U.S. tariff conditions make domestic production economically brutal. But there's a deeper strategic calculation at play. Tesla is fighting for survival in China, where BYD outsold them in both 2023 and 2024, with electric vehicles starting at $9,000. The Model 2 priced at $15,990 is Tesla's direct counterpunch. Launch in China first. Dominate the affordable segment. Collect real-world data at massive scale. Then export to the U.S. market once Nevada's LFP battery factory comes online 
and tariff situations stabilize. This strategy also explains Tesla's recent moves in Southeast Asia. Thailand has emerged as a strong candidate for Tesla's next gigafactory, with government officials actively courting Elon Musk. India has reopened manufacturing discussions. The pattern is clear. Diversify away from dependence on China without abandoning access to Asian markets and supply chains entirely. Can a car produced in 20 seconds possibly be reliable? The answer is counterintuitive, but supported by data. Automation typically produces more consistent quality than human assembly. Robots don't have bad days, don't get tired, and don't make random errors. They make the same precise movements millions of times. The one-piece gigapress castings have no welds to fail, no panel gaps to misalign, no hundreds of connection points to develop rattles over time. Every casting goes through X-ray inspection to verify structural integrity. The structural battery pack integrates directly into the single-piece underbody, eliminating the multi-hour mounting and sealing processes that create quality variation in traditional manufacturing. Tesla has been refining this approach for years with the Model Y. The Model 2 simply takes the lessons learned and pushes them further. Will there be first-year production issues? Almost certainly. Every new vehicle has teething problems. But the fundamental manufacturing approach is actually more robust than traditional methods, not less Tesla announced a November 2025 launch event, and prototypes are already testing openly without camouflage. But here's what's really happening behind the scenes. November will likely be a design unveiling similar to the CyberCab event, showcasing the final production version and generating hype. Actual customer deliveries won't begin until Q1 or Q2 of 2026, Elon Musk confirmed during the Q3 2025 earnings call that Tesla is currently dedicating nearly all manufacturing resources to Tesla bot production. The Model 2 production lines are ready. Tooling is complete, but the full-scale manufacturing ramp won't hit maximum capacity until the second quarter of 2026. Before that, expect a limited production run of 10,000 to 20,000 units in Q3 2025, specifically for quality control testing and final assembly line optimization. This phased approach minimizes risk. Better to catch and fix problems with 10,000 vehicles than discover them after producing 500,000. Tesla's internal projections target annual production capacity of 300,000 to 500,000 units once mass production stabilizes. That's Model 3 volume in its first full year, which would make the Model 2 one of the highest volume EVs ever produced if they hit those numbers. Here's a detail most coverage completely missed. Tesla just expanded its insurance program to Florida, bringing total coverage to 12 U.S. regions. This isn't traditional insurance. Tesla charges premiums based on real-time driving behavior captured through the car's safety score system. Careful drivers with scores between 90 and 100 pay as little as $60 per month for coverage that normally costs $200 to $250 monthly in Florida. That's a 60% to 70% reduction. Do the math over five years. Traditional insurance at $200 monthly costs $12,000. Tesla insurance at $60 monthly costs $3,600. That's $8,400 in savings, nearly enough to offset the entire price increase from losing the federal tax credit. For budget-conscious Model 2 buyers, this could be the financial justification that makes the car viable even at higher price points. BYD's Seagull costs $10,000 in China with a 30.08 kilowatt-hour battery officially rated for 189 miles under Chinese testing standards. Sounds cheaper than the Model 2, 
right? But Chinese testing standards are notoriously optimistic. That same 189-mile rating drops to 161 miles under European WLTP standards and just 142 miles under U.S. EPA testing. Now add the 25% U.S. import tariff on Chinese electric vehicles, and suddenly the Seagull costs nearly as much as a base Model 2 while delivering significantly less range, no full self-driving capability, and questionable long-term reliability. Tesla's brand power remains formidable despite recent challenges. The Cybertruck secured millions of reservations despite production delays and controversy. The Model Y has been one of the world's top-selling SUVs for years without any major updates. When Tesla launches something new, it automatically captures massive public attention and generates pre-orders at scale that no startup competitor can replicate. If the Model 2 actually launches at $15,990, it's the automotive deal of the decade. If it lands at $39,990, it's still compelling for specific buyers. Here's why total cost of ownership tells a different story than sticker price. No oil changes, no transmission services, no spark plugs or timing belts, minimal brake wear thanks to regenerative braking. Electricity costs a fraction of gasoline. Tesla insurance saves thousands annually. Over-the-air software updates improve the vehicle over time. Instead of it becoming obsolete, compare that to a $30,000 Honda Civic that will cost thousands annually in fuel and maintenance. Over a five-year ownership period, the Model 2 could actually cost less to own than the Civic while delivering instant torque, advanced technology, and access to Tesla's supercharger network. The catch is, you must accept the compromises. Fabric seats, manual trunk operation, reduced sound insulation, smaller wheels. If those trade-offs don't bother you, the Model 2 could be exactly what the affordable EV market has been waiting for. Here's the truth. Both prices are real. $15,990 in China with incentives, $39,990 in the U.S. without tax credits. Even at $40,000, this changes everything. Tesla proved the 54,000-ton GigaPress, $2,786 battery, and $1,000 motor can deliver premium tech at mass prices. When Nevada's factory launches in 2026, and production hits 500,000 units, prices drop further. The real question, will you accept fabric seats and manual trunk to own a Tesla that accelerates faster than gas cars, updates like a smartphone, and costs less than a Civic over five years? What's your move? Wait for $15,990 or grab the $40,000 version? Drop your take in the comments if this cleared up the Model 2 chaos, hit that like button. Subscribe to Tech Revolution for zero hype EV analysis you can trust. Smash the notification bell for our next breakdown on Tesla's Nevada battery factory and how it'll slash costs further. The affordable EV revolution just became real. Let's see if Tesla delivers.